The second race is about to get underway here for the Dislock Civic Club. And the sun is still shining. Track temperature is getting a little bit lower. But more importantly, the top 10 have been reversed, which means Lee Deegan is down in 10th. But on pole position is Mike Ballantyne. Now, your son Jason was third in the last race. Um, how are you feeling? Are you nervous uh, on pole position? A little bit, yeah. yeah. First, you know, I've done three meetings this year and, and I've ended up on pole position at the third one. Can't believe it. We had a, you know, we had a good day testing on Friday. I was much happier with the car. I qualified 14th this morning, got up to 10th and uh, ended up here on pole position. How long do you think you're going to last in front? I don't know, I couldn't tell you. I would like to do a full lap if I could in front. You know, we'll see how it goes. If the lads behind start battling, you, you know, you just don't know what can happen, do you? You know, if they hold each other up, and I'll try and make my car as wide as I possibly can. Yeah. You'll have a big grin in your face if you look in your mirrors and roll fighting behind. Oh, yes, I will do, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we, wish, we wish you the best of luck and hopefully on a podium. Right, thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Mike Ballantyne there, age 60, Jake, the oldest driver in the series. He's only done two races this season. This is his third, as he said there. Pole position, he can't hold on, can he? Stranger things have happened at Silverstone. Mike Ballantyne and Paul Taylor on the front row for Max Lewis and Martin Delzell, then Morgan Bailey and David Buki. Reason and Ballantyne, Hobson and potential champion Lee Deegan starts P10 with Lewis Rose and Samuel Lintner in behind. We've got to keep an eye, though, on the likes of Alastair Camp and Bruce Winfield. Out of race one, they start 17th and 19th, respectfully. They do not want to finish there. Look at the aggression in Mike Ballantyne on the grid. You just saw him slightly more towards the inside line on the starting grid. He wants a good start. Lee Deegan from P10. Let's see how he gets away. If he wins, he becomes the champion for the first time in two years. So let's see if he can get the job done. Ready and launching in a few seconds now. Long hold there on the grid, but away we go. And Deegan's already off to a belter. Several drivers trying to come through up to the first corner. Mike Ballantyne needs to hold on to the lead through the first corner. Well, there he is. Well, he's going to drop to seventh. Make that eighth, actually, around the outside. That answers the question. Can he hold on? Sadly, the answer is no. Deegan swarming through. Who else was that in the mix there? I think that was Max Lewis drifting slightly wide. But Paul Taylor now leads in front of Dalzell and Reason as they go through the first couple of corners of the circuit. Onto the Wellington straight for the first time. That's Hobson going door to door. A little bit of dust kicked up there on the outside line. But as they come up the Wellington straight, it's Bruce Winfield we ride on board with. And he's going to be overtaking cars like Jackrabbits. Lewis is on our left. Not for long, though. We disappear around the outside. Late breaking into the hairpin of Brooklands. And that is some great moves. Oh, that's Mike Ballantyne. Oh, dear, Mike. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. He's still racing hard. Max Lewis trying to come back around the outside, though, Bruce. Ignore Mike. You've got Max to worry about on your six, mate. Lee Deegan battling away through Woodcut Corner. And that has put him into, goodness me, is he in fourth already? No, fifth. But still, that is half the field dealt with. Oh, he's got problems on the right because that's Ballantyne trying to get alongside him. Ballantyne trying to come through and hold him up. That's what that was. So Ballantyne was still in front at the line by officially eight thousandths of a second. And now Deegan's going to sweep by to the right. Can he hold it on the way through? So that's Danny Hobson up in front. He's third in the championship at the moment. As they come round, they've got Rose to deal with there in there as well, round the outside. Winfield is just picking them off like raisins. Here we go, up on the throttle. Love having these two cameras. You can see what's coming and you can see what he's doing at the wheel on the bottom left corner. So can he get underneath Hobson and steal back some points? He dropped out of the battle of the third in the title race, of course. Now Dalzell has got through past Taylor, as has Reason. So Dalzell is now your new leader. He should be able to hang on to that. Taylor battling away there in third. And we're on board with Lee Deegan once more. Can he get the run here out of Luffield and into Woodcote? Certainly looks that way. Tucking in nicely. That's David Buki in front of us. We're riding on board with Bruce Winfield. Buki won around Brands Hatch in the second race, of course, but now Winfield's just going to completely muller him in the braking zone around the outside of the cops. Goodness me. And now Jason Ballantyne going door to door. Battling away there with Paul Taylor. As Reason is getting side by side with Dalzell for the lead, and I think he's taken that. That's Morgan Bailey in front of us. Winfield's going to get boxed in. Hobson around the outside. He's going to lose momentum as a result. Winfield's smart there. He just let it happen. And Bailey is now going to be a sitting target down the Wellington straight. 
Along they come. Delzel's doing a great job to hang on here in front of Reason and Deacon. God, Deacon nearly got chopped across there by Reason as he moved across. But Reason's going a long way round here at uh, Brooklands. Can he hold the momentum into Love Field? No, well held by Delzel. So Delzel is going to keep the lead for another lap at least. On board with Winfield as we battle for sixth place with Bailey and Hobson. So Hobson's wide on the outside line, but he's got good speed. That's going to, I mean, he, oh, with Bruce. Bruce, you're going to run out of road. No, he's not. Fantastic. He's stuck it in there. And Hobson disappears behind him. Tell you what, Bruce Winfield's definitely at his Weetabix. He's on a charge. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Through Cops and on the run to Maggots. Dalzell still hanging on to the lead here. And this is not easy when you've got the fastest drivers in the field right behind you. So Dalzell doing a very admirable job hanging on to the lead for the moment from Reason and Deegan. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like and hit the notification bell as well, and you'll get loads of great content, including all of the best from this season in Civic Cup. Down the straight. Dalzell still hanging on here in front of Reason and Deegan. Reason has disappeared behind Dalzell, trying to get through on the inside line into the braking zone of Brooklands, and that's for the lead, is it? He's going to hang on to it through the inside line. Yes, Dalzell has to let him go. So Dan Reason. The runner-up in the championship at the moment, 50 points behind Lee Deegan, who we ride on board with. Now, the man in front, Reason, could really do with some big, big problems for Lee Deegan. But the way the SW Motorsports crew have engineered that car, I don't think he's going to be in with much luck. Here comes Deegan. Oh, he missed a gear there, though. So a big problem for Deegan. That's going to lose a bit of momentum. Winfield's going for Bailey. Bailey trying to squeeze into the pit wall. No chance. Lovely from Winfield. That's P6 now. From 19th to 6, what a manoeuvre. And now Deegan's having another crack at Delzell. After missing the gear on the straight, the thing is he's got time to do this. Smoke coming off the back of Delzell's car. Is that a mechanical problem or just a lock-up of the tyres? Well, Deegan's got to think about this. Where do I go, right or left? Left, there's not enough room. Delzell's going to try to move to cover in the right, but he's, he's out of time. So Deegan's going to out-accelerate him under the bridge. Is he going to go for a reason already? He's not far away from it the braking zone, breaks a lot later, so does Dalzell though! Dalzell back on the inside, no chance, I don't care if you're the championship leader or your best mate, I am still going to have this second place. Nicely done from Dalzell. So he hangs on, Deegan's got to try again. Nice to see the championship leader getting tested here at Silverstone. Into Woodcut, side by side, fifth gear, along the straight, oh careful, that was nearly a bit of paint swapped. Up to the inside then, in for Cops Corner. Lovely move. So now he's in a P2, but P2 is not in his DNA. He doesn't want to finish in second place. He wants to close in on Reason, pass him, and win the championship. That is how he can secure the title today. And we're better than the home of British Motor Racing to seal the deal. Now, Dalzell's in some trouble. Ballantyne trying to squeeze up the inside. That was close. So Jason Ballantyne very nearly up into third position. Down the straight and under the bridge once again. So, so far so good for Reason, but Deegan's going to be a hard man to hold off. Reason is swarming one way and then the other because Deegan's really trying to catch him out. Ballantyne up the inside of Dalzell for third, but what about Deegan? Round the outside of Brooklands! Superb from the championship leader! Now that is one of the most impossible moves to pull off in these cars. There's a very little contact patch, reduced grip on the outside line, but Deegan stood on everything and round the outside of Reason. A champion's manoeuvre, absolutely stellar from Deegan. So Deegan now in front of Reason. It's all about now whether Reason can not only challenge him but keep the pace. Oh, something's come off one of the cars up front. Just a little bit of panel there. I don't think that will cause a massive problem. Hobson's now getting a little bit wheel to wheel with Paul Taylor. And Bailey wants to keep on with the action there as well. So he's still in the fight. Hobson holds the inside line. He's got the lights on. That's got to be psychological. He surely doesn't have that much of a problem with vision. Paul Taylor still trying to hold on in front of Bailey. You've got to love Morgan Bailey's livery. It's in tribute to the uh, old 1960s Lotuses that they used to have in Formula One. They look really, really impressive on a Honda Civic, I tell you. And now Bailey tries again. Around the outside comes Taylor. Oh, really struggling and going alongside Hobson. But Taylor wants to hold him at bay. Bailey's going to get back in on the inside line. And he's not quite going to make the move, but Winfield is up to fifth place now. He is charging after the top four. His first target is Dalzell.
We are past the halfway point now, so it's time to really start to make the rafters rock, especially if you're Jason Ballantyne all over the back of Reason. With uh, Deegan up in front, the game is nearly over. Oh, Hobson's committing round the outside there on Cops, past Taylor. And he's done it. That's a lovely overtake. And Bailey's going to take the initiative as well. He's going to get through on the inside line for the next apex. And that's enough, hopefully, to get back on the brakes in time for Beckett. Hobson nearly loses it. Well, that was a rally cross maneuver there from Hobson. And he goes wide. And he has, unfortunately, lost momentum. So that's going to be Bailey through. And I think that's Buki through as well. Is it coming back up the order? Yeah, it is. That is Buki in there trying to get through alongside around the outside. So Buki is trying to get a door or two in there. Hobson now letting Camp come through. So Alistair Camp back from the dead there around the outside. And he squirrels on the inside of Hobson. Here comes Buki on the inside as well. That one mistake from Hobson around here. If you get any form of error, it is costly. Now Jason Valentine gets up the inside of Dalzell in front of us for third position. They are side by side up to Cops corner. And that's Ballantyne on Reason, in fact. My apologies. Ballantyne for Reason gets second place. So Reason gets through. And now it's Winfield having dealt with Dalzell. So Dalzell is the man behind this lot. Here comes the move. Now that's fourth position for Winfield. Not bad at all from 19th place. Ballantyne going to try and get the switch back on the inside of Reason. Door to door. And Winfield's going to try and get stuck in there as well now from the back of the grid to fourth from Bruce Winfield and now battling away with Reason and Ballantyne. Order is restored and side by side. <laughs> Goodness me, chaps, how close do you want to get? In the breaking zone comes Reason. Ballantyne tries to hold it around the outside to avert the threat from Winfield and Dalzell is not backing down either. Reason hangs on on the inside line. That's one Jason Ballantyne won't want to relive too many times. Here comes Winfield though. Winfield needs points. We lost a lot in the first race. Of course, you can drop your two lowest scores from the season, so that might not cause him too much aggro. Very close indeed, just as race one. It's going to be a 14-lap encounter. Reason, Ballantyne, Winfield. Winfield's got good momentum off of Cops Corner. He hasn't got the space to go for Ballantyne. He looks one way, looks the other. He is swarming around like a bee, trying to get back in the hive as Deegan stretches out in front. Winfield is trying to get through on Ballantyne. Ballantyne cuts back on the inside. He doesn't care about Winfield. He's got his own agenda. Side by side again. And this is full credit, by the way, to Martin Dalzell, who is still there, still keeping pace with these three, and still a threat. He does not want to lose ground. And it's going to be three wide this time, because Winfield's going to go around the outside of Ballantyne, while Ballantyne's committing to the move around the outside of Reason. Jens, my goodness. How close does this race get? Absolutely incredible. And they are going to keep this all the way to the flag. Sorry, Lee, but on this particular point, your victory is a little dull. This is where the action is. Completely upstaging the race leader for the moment. Oh, reason! Chops right across on Jason Ballantyne. Cuts back across. Winfield waiting for his moment. They're having to be quite cautious on the brakes. Ballantyne! Very nearly on the inside of Reason there. Reason trips out wide, gets back across on the apex. Winfield is now to the right of Ballantyne. Dalzell looking for an opportunity. Ballantyne now trying to get alongside Reason in the breaking zone. Here we go to the inside. Winfield. He commits to the Ballantyne. He's into third. He's into second past Reason. Absolutely brilliant from the back of the field to second for Winfield. That is the drive of the season, but can he hang on? Because Reason and Ballantyne are back on his inside line. Three wide again. Up the middle goes Ballantyne. Reason's still there to the inside, though. Squeak of the brakes and watch Dalzell. He's trying to muller them all. Back to the inside line. Three wide through Luffield. I haven't seen that for a while. Winfield gets back on the power. Tucks in behind Ballantyne. Squeezes Reason. Has Dalzell drop back in time. They come through Woodcut once again. I thought race one was pretty special. Race two is an absolute barnstormer. Look at the cockpit view from uh, Winfield. His eyes are on stalks, and that's why. Reason trying to come back around the outside. A whiff of dust kicked up from Ballantyne up front. Reason still around the outside. Winfield alongside him still. That's right on board. Reason's going to pop up on the left. Oh, there's nothing in it. Into the breaking zone for Beckett's. Over the curbs, door to door, scratch and paint, running wide on the exit. 
Dalzell's still there. Reason's not giving up. Winfield checking all over the place. His eyes are on Storks. Wiping sweat from the brow. I'm not surprised. Into the breaking zone. Reason's still there. Still there on the inside. Winfield still moving to cover him around the outside. Lovely job. This isn't racing anymore. This is pride. That's what they're fighting for. And Valentine in second. Winfield looks to have got the job done for the moment in third. But Reason will not give up. He's not throwing in the town for anything. So the champion elect has two laps to go based on the time we've got left. He's not going to be able to complete more than two laps. So as I suspected, 14 laps of racing will be completed again here on the Silverstone National. Here's the battle for six. That's Alastair Camp, Paul Taylor, Morgan Bailey, David Buki, and I think Hobson's still in there as well. Max Lewis is at the back of the queue, so we'll have an amazing tussle between these six drivers in the closing couple of laps. Hobson's desperate to get back up the inside of Buki. Can he get there? No, he's not quite able to. Locking of the brakes. Bailey trying to hold off Taylor. Not able to at the moment. Kicks up the dust on the inside line. Buki has got Hobson all over the back, and Max Lewis is just trying to stay with them. And I think that's Morgan Rose. Uh, sorry, Lewis Rose. I will get these names right eventually. Lewis Rose all over the back. Uh, trying to close up on Max Lewis. So Morgan Bailey is in there in behind Paul Taylor. BT Auto's car. Oh, Buki gets out sideways, and that's Hobson's opportunity, is it? Tries to get alongside. This is going to be a fascinating end to the season battle in the run between second, third, fourth, and fifth in the standings. But Winfield is all over Ballantyne as Deegan has already begun the final lap. There he is. So this is a victorious moment in waiting for Lee Deegan. He won the title in 2017. It's been a long road to get back to the top spot, but him and the entire SW Motorsports team have worked incredibly hard to engineer him back to the front. His dream at the beginning of the year was to come back to the British title and win in the Civic Cup. And he is literally a handful of seconds away now from getting the job done. There is Terry Taylor up in front. He should be able to avoid being lapped by Lee Deegan before the end of the race. But what an amazing display this has been all year long. He's engineered the car with his colleagues perfectly. And he now comes out of Luffield for the last time. It's been a long season. It hasn't been 100% perfect all the way. It's going to be close between Ballantyne and Winfield for second. But Lee Deegan is the champion. What a moment for Lee Deegan. The celebration begins. Bruce Winfield gives the thumbs up to Jason Ballantyne up front. He enjoyed the race. And from dead last, he comes home third. Brilliant. And they're very happy about it. Great racing. That is what the Disclock Civic Cup is all about. Lee Deegan gets the victory. Dan Reason sadly would have finished fourth had it not been for a five second time penalty. That promotes Dalzell up to fourth. Alistair Camp fights back all the way to sixth. The credible race from him as well. Paul Taylor, Morgan Bailey, David Buki, and Dan Hobson round up the top 10 in front of Max Lewis and Mike Ballantyne. And then it's the Roses in front of Shortle and Harris. An amazing performance. And we now have a new champion. He won in 2017. Lee Deegan is back. After a disappointing first race, starting last in this race and coming out with a podium, what a race. Yeah, it was awesome um, to start 19th and end up with a podium. Uh, it was just to try and stay out of trouble, get past as many people as I could. And I think I came out the first lap and I was, I can't remember if I was top 10 or, but I was within reaching distance. Um, so, you know, the guys in front of me battling enabled me to, to get through, catch up. And because they were all fighting with each other, you know, it just, well, yeah. It opened it up was, for you, didn't it? Definitely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Great result over the moon to be um, to be on the podium after starting dead last and fastest lap of the day as well. So yeah, bonus. Well, everybody watching it uh, was, was pleased with it. You put on a right show. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was enjoyment. And um, again, you know, starting from the back, it was just like have some fun. You know, see what we can do and no pressure really. So yeah, it was good. Jason, firstly, congratulations on the podium. Um, brilliant piece of racecraft. Um, we spoke to your father before the race, he was on pole position, he was rather nervous, he wanted to get a lap uh, in the lead but that wasn't the case, you went flying past him on the first corner. Yeah I think we, uh, we got, I think a few of us got a good start and we just swallowed the front of the pack up and uh, had to go around it but yeah it was uh, it was a tough race mine but um, I think he was quite nervous but he's, he's done well to get on the pole off, he's, he's only done I think four meetings now. Yeah. So. Well, it's, uh, yeah. It was an incredible race to watch, especially uh, all, all three of four of you going four abreast around Brooklands. Yeah, there was a few times there was uh, probably too many of us trying to get around there at once, to be honest, but we made it. Um, 
It was, it was, it was a good race, yeah. There was uh, a little bit of argy bargy, but that's part of racing. Um, I think it, not, it was all fair enough, but uh, yeah, it was a good race to be fair. Well, Lee, what a masterful drive, and it's the first all win of the season. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It was, it was hard work. It wasn't as easy as it looked. Uh, one, to keep concentration, and two, to pick off these, these guys, because uh, they were putting in some awesome laps, and just managed to get, get in the slipstream a few times uh, to get past a few of the quick ones, and um, make some all, all or nothing moves, really. So <laughs> that's what Civic Cup's all about. Yeah, you picked them off lap after lap. Uh, it was an incredible piece of uh, race craft, and you got the win in the end. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. So Lee Deegan has enough points to be declared the champion, but the battle is still raging for second place. Dan Reason, Jason Ballantyne, Dan Hobson, Bruce Winfield, and of course David Bookie will all quest for that second place when the season wraps up at Donington Park.